Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how uh, you can enable an uh, open VPN server on uh, your MicroTik router. And uh, <clears throat> mainly I will uh, uh, show how to uh, enable this server and use it uh, with an uh, Android device because uh, most of the cases uh, maybe you go uh, out a lot and uh, you connect yourself to different uh, hotspots on wireless or uh, you are uh, in another country, another operator and uh, you just wanna uh, roam in uh, your uh, uh, local network uh, to, um, to have a private uh, uh, network um, and also uh, so you can uh, I don't know maybe uh, watch uh, uh, local television from your country because as you, as you can uh, uh, already know uh, you cannot watch uh, pay TV if uh, the provider sees that you are on another country uh, so yeah um, it is uh, um, a way of uh, um, of uh, adding another layer of uh, security uh, to everything you do uh, from your uh, uh, mobile uh, phone uh, if you um, get this traffic through a VPN so uh, I uh, I assume that uh, uh, we do not have anything uh, else set yet uh, um, other aside the fact that uh, my um, microtik router is uh, uh, running uh, on my home network and so uh, we will first uh, start with uh, generating the um, certificates for the server and the client and then uh, we will use this to set up uh, the mobile uh, openvpn uh, application so i have here uh, and the commands are already <coughs> put in order I will leave this uh, in the description link of, uh, of the video so we will um, uh, give these commands uh, one by one uh, using uh, the uh, router's uh, terminal so we will copy uh, the first command Now we have uh, to sign the certificates we already made. This is gonna take some time, more or less. Okay, now uh, we must uh, set the certificates to be trusted. And now we have to export the certificate so we can uh, use it uh, on our device
of course uh, you will put here uh, whichever password you want okay the next next step is to uh, create uh, an IP pool for the open VPN Next, uh, we have to make uh, the profile for the OpenVPN. And of course, we have to add a user that connects. Uh, uh, to the VPN and uh, the user should have a name and the password I am uh, doing this generic now you can put wherever you want and also we have to enable the server certificate on the interface okay so now I will show you these things uh, on the on the menu so first we go to OpenVPN server and as you can see I have uh, this on enable yes and we will use uh, the IP mod connection uh, I also uh, uh, change the default port to 443 uh, because um, this is the web port and uh, it adds another layer of uh, of security um, to uh, to the net to the uh, VPN uh, connection uh, okay uh, and uh, as you can see we uh, we have the server certificate we require the client certificate and uh, we use the AAS 256 uh, and if we go to if we go to uh, secrets you can see the client I created and uh, the password for that client we can choose here service open VPN and profile open VPN the profile we created is here so uh, the local address is 192.168.2.1 and it should get the uh, address from the open VPN pool which uh, we can see here in the pools yeah okay so now uh, there is another thing uh, we have to do we have to enable an uh, masquerade on that address okay so now I think we are ready to go I will uh, switch to the I will uh, copy the um, files um, the certificate from the files section to my computer so you see we have here the client certificate this and the client authority certificate we have to copy all these three I will 
put it in the certificate folder if you can see we have here <coughs> all the certificates and uh, the client uh, open VPN connection file uh, I will uh, put this uh, in the in the description of, of the video also but uh, first uh, we have to change the name here so <clears throat> now you see this this uh, names here correspond to what I have here and there is another thing we we have to do we have to make a, a new file that is containing the name of the uh, client and uh, the password for that client and uh, the name for the file should be secret okay so we make a new file and we rename it to secret and we delete uh, the rest of the description okay and now we should uh, put inside the name and uh, the password so my mm, the name for my client is client and the password is client pass okay we save it now uh, as you can see I already have my uh, Samsung connected to the PC uh, and I am going into the memory and uh, I will uh, put here all the, I will delete this and I will put here all the newly created uh, certificates okay so now everything should be okay and uh, we will switch to the mobile phone to to uh, take a look if everything is working okay so we are now on the mobile phone and uh, as you can see I already installed it open VPN for Android and now mm, we have to go to navigate to file this uh, as you can see I am on the certificate folder and I choose the client uh, OpenVPN configuration file and then hit import and uh, you can see the IP and the client name we have to input the client password that we choose and connect after import click add and now we are connecting to the network and we are already connected and you can see the IP from the IP pool I've choose and now uh, I will show you that we are on this network yeah here it is and uh, if I go to trace route and I trace my uh, address you see only one hope and if I do a band test you can see the speed over the VPN of course it's not the same as uh, on the mobile provider so it's not uh, that great but it's okay for uh, uh, watching a video or uh, using uh, using the basic basic software you have on your phone I will uh, disconnect now and show you the true speed on 4G if I do not use the VPN okay so we are now disconnected 
And then now if I make another Okay, so this is the real speed on the 4G mobile provider. So, uh, as you already saw, uh, using the VPN is uh, slowing down uh, the bandwidth. Going back to the VPN and doing another test now. We are again on the VPN network. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you find this interesting, give it a thumbs up so others can see the video also and uh, subscribe if, if you want to to see my uh, my incoming videos thank you